All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to stream to the new streaming service, Hitbox.tv, using a game capture card, such as the Elgato and OBS and your Xbox or other console. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to hook up your Elgato, which I just showed you how to do before. So once that's hooked up, go ahead and download and install the software to hook up your Elgato. So to do that, you'll go to search for... Elgato Game Capture HD software it is here. You're going to go to elgato.com slash en slash game dash capture dash HD dash support. Download the installer for Windows 7 or 8, or if you're on a Mac, download that. Then go ahead and install the software. Once it's installed, you can go ahead and open up OBS. All right, so once you have OBS open, we're going to go through the settings here. So you're going to go to general, leave everything as it is. For encoding, make sure you have X264 selected, use constant bitrate, enable CBR padding, use custom buffer size, and then make sure you set your maximum bitrate and your maximum buffer size. So for your maximum bitrate, you'll want to select probably about a quarter or a half of your current upload speed. So if you have an upload speed of 10, you could set it to 5. However, the higher your bitrate, the faster the internet of people watching it needs to be. So I would probably recommend somewhere around 15 to 2500, no matter what your upload speed is, okay? I do 2500, I have an upload speed of 15, I do 2500, that way people with slower internet on mobile devices and the like can watch the stream. And then make sure you set your custom buffer size to the same size as your maximum bit rate. And then for audio, you're gonna do AAC for the codec, a bit rate of 128, a 48 kilohertz, and channel will be stereo. For broadcast settings, we're going to do mode live stream. Select Hitbox TV as a streaming service from the list here. And then server, select the closest one to you. And then for your play path or stream key, it's pretty easy. You just go to hitbox.com, go to your account. So go to the uh, live stream here. And then click where it says show key there. Go ahead and select that, copy it, and then paste it right here into OBS. All right, then once you have that in there, you can select any of these options if you'd like to, set a delay, auto reconnect, etc. but it's not necessary to do so. And go ahead and go to your video, and for the video, you're going to select your video adapter. You can either select a separate video card to do the layering of DirectX, or you can select the onboard graphics entirely up to you. And then for your resolution, I choose 1280 by 720 which is 10, 720 HD, so that's what I select. And then for the downscale, this will mean if you have um so if you want to lower the quality of your stream the resolution to make up for the slowness of your cpu i have an i7 in my computer 2600 so i do 720 handles it just fine so i don't downscale it at all if you had like an older core 2 or something you may want to downscale it to 640 by 360 or 730 by 1410 852 by 480 or something along those lines if you wanted to and then frames per second, 30 is the standard. You can go as high as you want to, but there's really no point to go above 30, so stay there. For audio, the desktop audio device will be default. So that will be your computer. For microphone, make sure you select whatever microphone you're using. I happen to be using a microphone Samson CO1U. It's a pretty good microphone. I picked it up for $45 off Craigslist, although it is $90 retail, so shop around a little bit. And then you can select push to talk if you'd like. I don't, I just have it on all the time. Desktop boost uh, one is what I keep mine at. Mic audio or mic and auxiliary boost. I select that to three, boost my audio from the microphone just a little bit. And then the mic sync offset. So I set that to 2000. So it delays the sound in OBS for my microphone for two seconds because the delay from the Elgato is two seconds as well. All right. Uh, where were we in the settings there? Advanced settings, leave all of these alone. I wouldn't mess with these at all. Uh, this is a recommendation, it's very fast in main. So just leave those alone. All right, so now go ahead and preview your stream. And right now you should have nothing on there. As you can see, my mic is showing activity as I'm talking here, which is good. It means it's all set up. You can select the audio levels if you like through here by changing this. This is your standard audio and this is the microphone audio. I try to keep my mic a little higher. Now. So the first thing you'll probably want to do is use your Elgato. So go ahead and hit that. And now it's going to initialize the Elgato. Give that a second there to catch up. 
and voila, there's the Xbox. Go ahead and press the button on your controller. I'm pressing now, one, one thousand, two, one thousand. See, it takes two seconds for it to go over and move around. All right. Now, on to the next one. We're going to go to the properties in the Elgato here. If you'd like, we can check them out. Um, so what we can do is we can configure it using the Elgato software. If you hit that, it will bring that up. You can flip the image if you'd like to. You can change the opacity, meaning you can make it transparent if you wanted to. You can also set the resolution. If you leave it off, it'll just do the default resolution. Chroma key is for green screens, or if you wanted to block out a certain color. So for instance, we could do this, and then we could select uh, doing this green here, and it'll get rid of all that green. It's kind of cool, but we really have no reason to do that. All right, and for the audio, we're going to do uh, use device audio, output audio to stream only, meaning that you're not going to hear it played through your PC. It will still, however, go through your television, so leave that like that. And you can set the offset if you'd like to set it back a little bit, but you don't need to because the device audio and video are playing at the exact same time, so I wouldn't worry about it. And then go ahead and select those there, and that should be good. And then now it's time to set up your webcam here. So there's my webcam, the Logitech. And now you can see me. My webcam is now on. All right, and there's a delay on that as well. You can go to the properties if you'd like and go mess with these. Uh, same properties because it's a video capture device. So you can set the resolution if you'd want. And if you're using a green screen, you'd use a chroma key. So you can select a color. So I'm going to select this silver right here. Similarity, you can change that to 85. And that'll kind of, it's one to a thousand on the similarity there. So as you can see, it kind of blurs out anything that's kind of close to that color. So it's kind of cool. See that color black, it's just everything in there. It picks. Anyways, so you can do that if you'd like. If you had a green screen, obviously you'd use a green screen and you wouldn't worry about it. And then for the audio and input on this, I disable it. I don't use the audio from this because I have a separate microphone. So I do that. And then I set this to two seconds because that's the delay my audio is on for my microphone. And that's the delay that's coming from the Elgato. So if you do that, you'll be in sync with what's happening in the game. So that's the way to do it there. All right. And if you'd like, you can hit, so you can do add other things here if you want to. So you right click, add, and uh, video capture device will give you the options. You do that and you go through and find it. Uh, overlay. So this is what I use. I use a little overlay here that says tech support gaming. And then I also have a picture for stream start. It shows this here. The reason I use that is for right when I start the stream, I put that up for about 10 to 15 seconds or 30 seconds or so, and then I take it down. I put that up because uh, Hitbox and Twitch will take the first few seconds of your stream and display that for people to see, and you don't want it to say, you know, Elgato initializing. So I put that up for a few seconds. So be aware of that. Once you have that all set up, you're pretty much good to go. You can hit start streaming and you are done. Uh, go ahead and hit stop preview once you're ready. Hit start streaming and you're good to go. That's pretty much it. That's how you stream with the, uh, with the Elgato OBS, your Xbox or your PlayStation, and Hitbox TV. And if you wanted to, you can pull up your dashboard here. The dashboard shows you what's going on. This is where you change the name of your uh, stuff and can run commercials if you want for some reason. Social media posts, a sticky chat message, poll and giveaway from the dashboard here. It's all pretty self-explanatory in the uh, stuff there. But that's pretty much it. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, hopefully this helped you guys out a little bit. If you have any questions or anything, feel free to drop me a line on Twitter or on Hitbox or you can shoot me an email. So thanks for checking it out, guys. Good luck and happy streaming.